I'm sorry, that's freaking ridiculous. Can you, like, am I alone? Am I alone? $15, I get it, $15, but it's the damn principle. Why are they still charging you? That's like the scummiest thing that I could ever imagine, honestly. If you have even thought about running an obstacle course race, or OCR for short, I can almost guarantee that your social media feed was then flooded with Spartan race advertisements. Hell, most of the medals that you see behind me are Spartan race medals that I earned over the last few seasons. And even though I got into the game late, it's impossible to deny the impact that Spartan Race has had on the world of OCR over the last few years. Now these changes aren't all inherently bad, however, when you get a company that comes in and dominates an industry like Spartan has done in the world of OCR, you're bound to push some longtime supporters away. And sadly, I've heard a lot of talk over these last few years about how Spartan is ruining the world of OCR. And as much as it pains me to say this, I've slowly started to move into this category for numerous reasons. But the main one being how absolutely out of control these prices have gotten to run a simple 5K Spartan Sprint. F you, f you, f you, you're cool. And f you, I'm out. But before I go ahead and throw in that Spartan towel for good, I decided to try one more thing that I know many people do to make these races more affordable, and that's to volunteer at an upcoming event. And for only eight hours of your time, they'll hook you up with a free race code that you can use at this event or a future event of your choice. And luckily for me, the Tri-State New York Spartan Sprint and Super Man, try saying that 10 times fast. Well, that race, that race was only one week away. So I went online and within minutes, I was signed up to be working an obstacle at the upcoming event. Who knows what obstacle we're gonna get. Hopefully, I want a hanging one. Which one do you want? Uh, Anyone that he doesn't have to argue with he people looks, over. Yeah. <laughs> he looks, yeah. He looks, yeah. So did this volunteering experience change my mind about walking away from Spartan races forever? You're just going to have to watch to the end to find out. But real quick, before we go any further, I just wanted to announce that I've been chosen to run in the 2024 New York City Marathon. There's the cannon fire and the elite race is off. I know, that's like every runner's dream. But that's not the exciting part. The exciting part is that I've been chosen to run with Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center's Fred's team. And of course, this is a fundraising team. But the bright side is that 100% of the funds raised goes directly towards cancer research. I dedicate my first mile always to my daughter, Scarlett. This hospital saved my daughter's life. And I will continue to run until I can. I dedicate my miles to my care team. My care team at Sloan Kettering saved my life four and a half years ago. They continue to save my life to this day. They are extraordinary doctors and I give everything to them. So if you, a loved one or a friend has been affected by cancer in any way, you could show your support for this cause by clicking the link in the description and donating today. I and every single person who has won, who is currently fighting or who has sadly lost their battle with cancer greatly appreciates your support. But with that said, let's get back to the video. Before we get into this whole volunteering experience, let's talk a little bit about how Spartan has changed the world of OCR. And to start off on a positive note, let's talk a little bit about how it's changed OCR for the better. Even at a smaller event like the Tri-State New York race, there was still well over a thousand racers who came out to test their skills and get over that finish line. And anything that gets that many people getting out and getting after it is doing something right. And that pretty much does it for the positive effects that Spartan has had on the OCR world. But that's probably no surprise given the title of this video. So let's get into some of the negative effects. First of all, Spartan has become like the planet fitness of OCR. 
from changing the rules year after year to make things easier, to getting rid of burpees and replacing it with a Spartan lap, Spartan no longer feels like the badass, life-changing accomplishment that it once did. You know what? I've learned a lot of things. This is my first time going for a distance this long. And trust me when I say, that's not to take away from what I'm sure are countless people who getting out and running a Spartan 5K sprint is a freaking accomplishment. I'm just saying that it's not the badass race that it once was. And I'm sure anybody who's been running these races for a good number of years would agree with me. The second issue that I have with Spartan is that they've pretty much created an OCR monopoly. Maybe now that you've officially taken over the OCR world. Um, we are not taking over uh, the obstacle racing world. We're not there yet. It's not completely done yet. They bought out all the other major brands like Tough Mudder and put out of business all the smaller ones like Bonefrog, Rugged Maniac, and Warrior Dash. We all know that you've been longing to acquire Tough Mudder or beat Tough Mudder, but uh, today the news breaks that you guys are acquiring Part of Tough Mudder. And this has allowed Spartan to pretty much determine what experience you're going to get. But more importantly, it's allowed them to determine how much you're going to pay to get this experience. Can you believe it's just under $200 now to run a 5k Spartan sprint? That means that if you and someone else wants to get out and try a Spartan race for the first time, be prepared on spending three to four hundred dollars for maybe a one hour experience, give or take, depending on how fast you are. And you could tack on a few more charges if you want an early morning start or you want to step up the ante and run in one of the competitive heats. I'm sorry to say this, Spartan, but that is just freaking ridiculous. There's no way that these races should cost that much to participate in. And that's honestly the main reason why I've thought about stepping away from these races entirely. And the last little topic that I want to talk about is that Spartan races rarely, if ever, change. If you're lucky, you'll get obstacles in a different place on the course than they were the year before. Hey, look! Silence! I can't take this shit no more. So essentially, that means that I'm paying more money every single year to run the same races every single year for a worse experience every single year. At the very least, Spartan offered what I have to say are some pretty badass photos, especially if it's your first race ever. And these were complimentary with every single race registration. But as of 2024, you now have to pay for these photos. And I was a little curious what these photo packages cost, so I went to the Spartan website and get this. These photo packages are $39.99. That means if you want a photo to remember this awesome accomplishment that you just did without a giant watermark covering most of it, you gotta pay an extra $40 on top of your already $200 registration fee. But hey, maybe, just maybe, this volunteering experience will make the time, energy, and money that it takes to participate in one of these races still worth it. So let's jump right into it. Now the initial experience, it was pretty smooth. We were given about a handful of obstacles to choose from, and I chose the sandbag carry. I chose sandbag carry because there is no pass or fail. It is a do or do not obstacle, meaning every single racer has to complete it. And I really didn't want to get into any arguments with the elite runners trying to tell them that they failed the obstacle and have to do a penalty lap. Has Eric come through yet? Nah, nah, they haven't even grabbed the sandbag. You guys got a good lead. Your podium spot's yours, bro. Thank you. Good job. I just wanted to be out there having fun, helping motivate the runners get through to the finish line. And I got to admit, this experience was pretty freaking cool. You guys got this. You finished, you got a mile left. Nah, I'm a runner too. You got a mile left, I promise. I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> My inner personal trainer came out and I had so much fun motivating the runners. And I even got to run into some incredible people that I've met through my years of running obstacle course races, including the one and only OCR Kings, who helped motivate me to even start this channel in the first place. You got it. All right, guys, good, good finish, strong, finish strong, finish strong. See you at the finish line. You got it. But as they say, too much of a good thing is a bad thing. 
and by hour five, I was completely over it. I was drained from sitting in that bacon sun all day long, moving 40 and 60 pound sandbags around. And to be honest, I really just wanted to get out there and do the damn race myself at that point. Now, 2024 was the first year that they were ever offering a super at this event. And I was guaranteed by the woman running the volunteer program that I would be able to use my race code to run in that super once we were done. But I bet you could guess what happened when we went to sign up for the super, we were told that sadly we had missed the last wave of the day by 20 minutes. And the only race that we could do that day was now the Spartan Sprint. And I'll be damned if I woke up at 2 a.m., drove two hours to volunteer for eight, all for a free t-shirt and a crappy lunch. No, no, mm -mm. Mm -mm. no, 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 hell no, 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 I refuse, no, no. So we did what we had to do and we started the registration process for the Spartan Sprint. But wait, 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 here's the best part. After me and my wife finished the registration process, her and I were both hit with a $15 fee for insurance if we wanted to run this race. Now don't get me wrong, $15, it's only $15, 30 for the two of us, not gonna break the bank. But it's the damn principle of the matter. We just volunteered eight hours of our freaking time and you're still gonna make us pay for the $15 insurance? Spartan didn't have any problem covering the fee for the insurance while we were working their event for free, but for some reason, they can't cover the fee once we wanna go enjoy the event that we just worked at. I'm sorry, that's freaking ridiculous. Can you, like, am I alone? Am I alone? $15, I get it, $15, but it's the damn principle. Why are they still charging you? That's like the scummiest thing that I could ever imagine, honestly. But we were so tired and it was either pay the $15 or work for eight hours for absolutely nothing. So we paid the $15 each and we made our way to the start in line. And I hate to say this, but this was the breaking point. That right there, making us each pay $15 after volunteering all day, it pretty much solidified that I will never be running in another Spartan event. Except of course for the upcoming Spartan Killington Ultra this September. But I bought that registration like over a year ago, so I don't feel too bad about still participating in the event. Plus, I gotta at least try to redeem myself after that epic fail two years ago. At this point, I'm gonna be walking away today without a medal around my neck. But after that, I swear to God, I am done. But honestly, screw what I think. I'm more interested in what you all have to say. Have you been racing for a while and think that Spartan is kind of destroying the sport that we all love? Or do you think that Spartan's growth has only benefited the world of OCR? Let me know in the comments. I'm truly sorry for all of you who have been here from the beginning because you love the OCR content. If you want more obstacle course racing content, head over to the OCR Kings channel and give them some support. And with that said, I'd like to announce that we're taking this channel in a new direction. From now on, all the content will be hiking, backpacking, and adventure related. And if you came here because you like the OCR stuff, I really hope you guys stick around because I have a feeling you might like this content just as much or maybe even more. But that does it for today's video. If you enjoyed this type of content and you're interested in seeing where this channel is headed, the best way you could support us is by simply clicking those like and subscribe buttons right now. And once again, if you, a loved one, or a friend has been affected by cancer in any way and you want to show support for an incredible cause and hopefully one day find a cure for all cancers, you could donate by clicking the link in the description or by clicking the link in the top of the screen. But that does it. Until next time, get out and get after it. I'll see you out there.